See, see what's going on up there. That sound. Experience the energy of all that. Yeah. I believe that would be such a, a, a fantastic thing to do, to actually, like oh, yeah. you say, sit and, and actually feel the energy of, of the, in, the other earth or the other multiverses yeah. coming together uh -huh. in one. Well, we do the same thing here. We have a, we have a gigantic porch around our, our home. And it's all out in the wilderness where we've got trees all around. And we sit there in the morning and we watch the blue sky start bringing in clouds. And then the clouds start forming into different shapes and everything. And then it seems like the density of the clouds be, begin to bring the birds out at certain times. And we, we can monitor patterns in the, in the wildlife because of the changes in the, in the temperatures of the changes in the in the clouds actually as they they change so we have not not the not the craft that are coming in visibly but we, we sing other forms of nature that are happening and we'll have little birds land we have hummingbirds and they they land right you know within inches from us and look at us and it's, it's you know we have a different different view but it's the same thing we don't we don't care much for television as well tied in together. I, I had a, it's really interesting, I had a picture taken, uh, we have a statue of Buddha and Mary sitting side by side, and this wonderful pink uh, energy coming down over Mary, and uh, it's actually shot in the west in the morning, so the sun's behind us, it's not a lens flare, and the light's bending out, and then above Buddha there's this big orange like ball and a shaft of energy going off the top of his head and it's hitting me right in the lower back and I was having back problems at the time and, and we actually got it on, on film and uh, around that picture were these little blue lights all around the bottom of the picture and, and so they, John Kelly was doing reverse speech and you know he asked me what the little blue energy balls were you know on the, on the, around the bottom and I said you know I don't know I think there's some kind of nature spirit and when they did reverse speech, it said, Mary's elves say to love her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mary's elves. That's oh, yeah. yeah. So it ties, you know, that all these experiences like that, for me here, have tied, you know, the ultra-dimensionals, the UFOs, the ascended masters, you know, the, the ancient gods, everything. It just ties, you know, all of that together, you know, including the nature kingdom as well. It, they're all you know, working together, and it seems like we're the ones that are, that are out of sync. <laughs> I think we all have to catch up with what's really going on, you know, because if we don't, we're going to become extinct, you know, the way we're polluting everything and, and stuff. But it, there's, the, the change can come overnight to people if they want it, to, you know, if they, uh -huh. if they really, really want to remember who and what they are and, and that they, we're all one, that we... We have a synergy with each other. That we're all really brothers and sisters. Or there is a greater brotherhood of of man that exists here. If we care to unbury it and raise the veil of forgetfulness up high enough, so we can see the the reality of who and what we are, and and let the earth re return to the garden in which it was intended to be, and we can just glide above it and come down when we choose to enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I, I, I really have a, a positive feeling because I know all the Native American prophecies, they, they all talk, you know, about the beast and, and how the beast eventually consumes itself. And, and then after that, there's a thousand years of peace and we reunite with the star nations and the earth is healed, you know, very quickly. So, you know, they all have a, a common cause. And, and then I found out, too, from the Mayan calendar folks there, uh, you know, from the main shamans there that, that talk about the mind calendar, they actually said the calendar was given to them by the, the Pleiades, and, you know, they talk about the same thing. So it, it's, I just see that we're going to go through an end of, uh, end of time as we know it or, you know, an end of the world as we know it and shifting into a whole new world. And, and uh, you know, it, it's time. You know, we, we can't keep going the direction we're going. I think, we're, uh, James, I, I feel that it's, we're, we're in that time. We're in that shift right now. You know, with the, with the Earth, uh, Mother Earth uh, disasters or changes, they aren't really disasters, but the challenges 
the, the Japan incident and many different things, I think, I feel that we are in the change and those of us that will accept those changes and, and go to re or remember who we really are, start using our intuition and, and you know, just the senses that we know that we have, but we haven't, they've, they've been covered for all these eons, if we now start using those senses again, that's, we will be ahead of the game. We will be um, above or beyond some of the changes where the other people will have to go through them. Well, we're, we're uh, in, a, in some of our talks, James, we're, we're kind of combining our talks with the workshop in, in a kind of a miniature combo. We try to give examples to people and we try to give them little things they can do themselves to make, you know, affect the change. And one of those things is time. We tell them that you've been on, on a program timing for a long time, that you have your own time. And if you live by your own time, you'll always be on your own time. And you'll find you'll change your realities if you are, for instance, had an appointment and um, you chose to take care of something more important at the moment, uh, when by the time you got to your appointment, your appointment time would change or the people you were appointed to meet will change. You can change your realities simply by changing your timing because it is your time, not, not somebody else's. And so we've had people come back to us and say, my gosh, the parking places things have, have long you know, been working for them, but then now they find that wherever they go, they're on time. And uh, it, it, just little things like this kind of egg them on to trying other, other uh, things with their mind, using choices of words, using word sculpturing, dissecting words and finding out what, they, what they're really saying, like the word depressed, when people get into thinking about a depressed situation or depressed person, they say, oh, well, you'll have to leave them alone and you'll have to, you know, they're, they're sick, they need to go to a doctor and get some some energy pills or something. But when you take that word and dissect it, you see you're saying they're in a deep rest. And yeah. when they're in that rest, they can stay there as long as they want. They'll come out when they're ready, at their on their own time, when they're ready to come out of having had enough of the world's punishment, <laughs> they'll come out uh, and no longer, you know, have to adhere to being told what to do. You know, unfortunately, we're out of time. I know I could probably talk forever with you, but what's the best way for people to get in contact with you uh, to find out more about, you know, some of your workshops or classes or, or any other things that you have to offer? Well, thank you for asking. Uh, we have a website. It's, um, it's uh, our webmasters in Australia, and the website is called, it's one word, bluestarenterprise.com. That's B L U E. S T A R E N T uh, E R E R P R I S E R I S E not a Z okay enterprise.com and we have we have uh, not not only from our group but we have several groups that are participating now and on the website that can extend information into the ethers if they so choose to to look into them we can give them information about uh, more of of the energy fields which they inhabit and, uh, and workshops if they choose, people to contact if they choose. But thank okay. you for asking. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time, so we'll have to sign off now. But uh, I'll be in touch or feel free to call us because uh, we can talk further about you know, some networking and, and also you know, about any visit you want to have and come up here and see the ship for yourself. Oh, we'd love to do that. And the same goes for here or when we're in paradise. We have a a home there as well, and you're always welcome. We have facilities. <clears throat> you're always right. welcome to come down and see us. Do you have a phone number we can reach you at? Uh, yeah, best to just call the 509-395-2092 the uh, number. Okay, and our home phone number here, in case you choose. Is... Or maybe you better, we'll just do that off the air. All right, yes. great. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't want to get out and date No, I don't. No, we've had enough. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, James. Hey, nice Thanks. talking with you. Thank you very much okay. for the opportunity. Great. All right. Well, take care, and thanks for coming on the show, both of you. Thank right. you, James. Have a, a blessed day. Adonai. All right. Stay. All right. This is James Gillen with World Puja signing off. Have a great evening or day, depending on when you listen to the show. <laughs>